Hello, and I'd like to start tonight by talking about the Hollywood blockbuster, The Day After Tomorrow. In essence, the Gulfstream stops, a lot of Americans freeze to death, and it's not really the end of the world. Anyway, <laughs> the thing is, is that once again, it has focused our attention on the wicked car and what might be done to stop it going around clubbing baby seals to death. <laughs> this, apparently, is the answer. It's the Toyota Prius, and while it may look like a four-door saloon, it's been billed as just about the greenest car ever made. That's why it's become the latest must-have accessory among Hollywood's right-on elite. Cameron Diaz has one, so does Robin Williams and Tim Robbins. Leonardo DiCaprio has three. They've all been convinced that by driving one of these, the Tasmanian fruit bat will come back to life, that GM crops will be uninvented and that the earth will once again cool down. So, what do they all see in it? <clears throat> well, in essence, it's an electric car. But unlike any other electric car I've ever come across, you don't have to charge this one up for 12 hours every 40 miles. In fact, you never have to charge it up at all. And here's why. That is a normal 1.5-litre petrol engine, which is sometimes used to drive the car. But sometimes it's used to charge the batteries which power this, which is the electric motor that also powers the car. So that makes the Prius a hybrid, and that makes it brilliant. In theory. I'm driving along now, slowly, in a village. So that means I'm running greenly and silently on the electric motor only. See the trees smile at me as I waft by and watch the children run into the road because they haven't heard me coming. OK, I'm coming out of the village now, so I put my foot down. Yep, and now the petrol engine has started and is working with the electric motor to whiz me along. To help you understand which motor is doing what at any given moment, you get this screen, like so. There we are now. At the moment, the engine is driving the front wheels and sending power to the battery. Put my foot down. Now, look, everything. Everything's all going to the front wheels, all going that way. This, I think, is a particularly good way of distracting you from the child who's run into the road, having not heard you coming. Actually, I'm being unfair. The Prius is so slow, the child could run into the road, retrieve his ball and grow to puberty before you ever actually hit him. 0 to 60 takes 13 and a half seconds, and the top speed is just 99. As a result, you couldn't even use it as a milk float, because by the time you got to the end of your round, you'd be delivering cheese. Still, you might think a performance is a small price to pay if it means the Tasmanian fruit bat can be saved. Uh, sorry, but I drove one of these things from my house to London the other day. It's about 70 miles, and I averaged 45 miles to the gallon. A normal diesel will do better than that. A lot better. And because the Prius has two engines, prices start at a whopping £17,500. And don't think you're getting much in the way of quality for that either. I mean, I'll give you one example. To stop this armrest thing rattling, they've used sort of adhesive foam lubber tabs. To sum up then, it's a very expensive, very complex, not terribly green, slow, cheaply made and pointless way of moving around. So, so there we are. Covered it completely. Let's go on with no, the show. No, 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 hang on. I've got the uh, Prius brochure here. It says it has 65 miles to the gallon. Yes, I don't care what it says in the brochure. I did 45 miles to the gallon. And it wasn't like I had lead feet because I did the same route a few days later in a Volkswagen Lupo diesel, and that did 75 miles to the gallon. So if you want a car that doesn't club baby seals to death, buy a Volkswagen Lupo. But there must be something good about this. Um, something. Uh, well, I suppose, 
I suppose I quite like the idea of living in a village if all everybody's car was this quiet. But you would have to relearn the Green Cross code because it would be look left, look right, look left, listen, walk, wonder as you go through the windscreen <laughs> why the hell you never heard it coming. <laughs>